Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm gonna to show you guys the easiest way to hang or remove a heavy bag by yourself. So stay tuned. Hey, what's up guys, Carlo here. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys an easy way you guys can hang or remove a heavy bag by yourself using a chain hoist. Now I got this hoist from Harbor Freight Tools for only $49.95. This thing can lift up to one ton. So as far as weight capacity goes, it has more than you'll ever need for hanging a heavy bag. And Harbor Freight Tools is a company here in the United States that has both a brick and mortar stores as well as an online store. I'll make sure to leave the link in the description box on this particular model that I'm using here. Now this actual hoist, I'd say is about 20, 25 pounds in weight. So it does have some weight to it because it's made of steel and it has a lot of metal in here. The very top has a spring loaded hook and clip. This is what I actually mount to my ceiling mount, which I'll show you guys here in a little bit. And then obviously the chain itself. At the very bottom of the chain, you have the metal hook and that's what's gonna actually attach to the top of your, your heavy bag to lift it up or lower it down. So. I'll show that to you guys here in a second. Before that, just to show you guys the actual box it came in, it's gonna be Hallmaster, which I believe is a Harbor Freight brand. Uh, one ton chain hoist, uh, item number 996. So if you guys are looking for the exact one, you guys can get this. If you don't have a Harbor Freight where you're at, just look for a chain hoist uh, up to one ton. I think one ton is probably the, the minimum amount of weight you'll get with a chain hoist. Um, but it should be relatively inexpensive. So to me, for, for $50, just the, the convenience of using this and not having such a hard time hanging and taking it off my heavy bags, to me, it's more than worth it. It pays for itself. Now, for those of you that are wondering why do I need a chain hoist to lift up a heavy bag and bring it down? Well, a lot of us live in our homes where maybe we don't have somebody else that can help us uh, hang a heavy bag or remove one. And depending on the weight of the heavy bag, some people have lower back problems, can't lift, can't lift heavy weight, they may maybe have some injuries, so they need to find a way to be able to still get exercise in and hit a bag, be able to be able to hang one up without uh, causing more damage to the lower back or maybe they have bad knees or whatever ailment it may be, they just can't lift a heavy bag. And just depending on the model, I would say on average heavy bags are usually what, anywhere about 80 to 100 pounds. My nozzle bag that I, I love to use is 135 pounds. So they're definitely not lightweight. Uh, the problem comes in where if you don't have an extra person to hang the bag, you have to physically lift it yourself, find something to kind of prop underneath the bag to hold it in place while you climb a ladder and try to clip it up top to hang the bag. And that could be uh, one, just unsafe because the, ball, the actual bag can fall over and hit you or you can end up falling off your ladder. So just the method that, that you have to go through to try to hang a heavy bag by yourself is definitely an inconvenience. So I found that this chain hoist works awesome, especially if you're at home. Uh, if you're at a gym, you might have the luxury of having somebody there that's with you that can actually hook it up top and you can hold it yourself and you have a two-man team. That's usually the general, the easy, generally the easiest way to go about hanging a heavy bag, but we, again, we don't all have that luxury. So I'm gonna show you guys the process and how I actually, I'm gonna remove this aqua bag using the hoist. So I'm gonna remove the aqua bag, I'm gonna bring it down, unhook it, and then I'm gonna actually install the nozzle bag and I'll show you guys the entire process. So check it out. So the top of this chain hoist right here, this hook up top, I'm actually gonna mount to, to the very top knot up there that mounts to the ceiling. Um, where the actual carabiner is connected to, I'm gonna connect it right to the carabiner. And then from there, I can connect the chain to this bottom aqua bag, lift it up to release tension and then lower the aqua bag down. Now, if you're wondering why I'm wearing gloves, um, one thing you'll notice with this hoist is that it comes pre-lubricated, so there's a lot of grease on here. So I always recommend using a pair of gloves, whether it's rubber disposable gloves or just a pair of gloves at home. That way your hands don't get all greasy. Um, it might be helpful to have a, a little towel next to you. That way you can just wipe stuff off as you go along because uh, there's a good amount of grease in here. So just keep that in mind. And obviously the grease is, uh, keeps it nice and lubricated, but I'm gonna go up there and throw it up there and you guys can follow along.
Okay, so I actually have the hoist connected up to the top carabiner. I'm not so concerned that it's cocked a little bit because the main thing is as I rotate the handle, or should I say as I rotate this chain, it's gonna pull up on that bottom hook so it can release tension and then I can actually unhook the bag and bring it down. And now, that's actually dropping it. I'm gonna pull on this chain. And as I pull this chain, you'll see it start to raise up. And there's no power, you don't really, there's nothing that you really have to do as far as super easy. released so now the actual hoist is carrying all the way to this aqua bag and this aqua bag with it completely full I think it's probably like 80 to 100 pounds so you can see that's released and what I can do now is drop the aqua bag all the way down to the floor move it to the side and then bring in the nozzle bag and, and pull that one up So I brought it down enough to where the actual bottom chain that, or the, the bottom chain that's connected to the bag has a lot of slack and I can just unhook it. So I have it unhooked now, the bag is completely released and now I can pull it to the side. Just going to release this carabiner. So over to this heavy bag. And remember, I don't think I actually use a carabiner for this bag, so I'm going to put that to the side. So all I'm going to do now is just bring my heavy bag over. Now we can mount the nozzle bag. I'm going to have to lift this back up. Now it's connected to the top. See, he's elevated off the ground now. It's 135 pounds. Me pulling on this chain, it's easy. No issues whatsoever. Not even breaking a sweat. Now that I have that top hook attached, I'm going to lower it back down and release the hoist. Because that hook now is going to be carrying the load of the bag. And that's it. Now obviously the bag is kind of low because I had it adjusted for the aqua bag height. So I could have adjusted the chain height if I wanted to. But just to show you guys how easy it is, now I can actually release the, the hoist hook right here. Okay guys, so now I have the heavy bag all connected back to its chain. I have had the, the hoist hook is removed. Um, obviously the height of it's too low for me. If I wanted to, I would have adjusted it. I'm gonna be throwing my, my aqua bag back up again, um, but I would have adjusted the actual height. I just wanted to show you guys how easy it was to swap bags out. I didn't break sweat at all. Now keep a couple things in mind when you're doing this. Um, you'll definitely need a ladder just depending on the height of your ceiling. I have a 12 foot ceiling in my garage. So I need a ladder that way I can connect the hoist to the top um, heavy bag mount that anchors into my trellis. 
Um, have a pair of gloves, whether disposable or regular cloth gloves, that way your hands don't get greasy. Um, and maybe like a towel or a rag to keep uh, with you, that way you can kind of wipe things down when you're done. But super easy to use, definitely a great solution for those of you that have had issues with uh, taking off your heavy bag and removing it or uh, hanging one back up, um, especially if you have any kind of back ailments or injuries and it just becomes a nuisance to have to hang a heavy bag or rotate them out. So if you guys have any questions or comments, make sure you guys leave them down below in the comments box. I'll put the link in the description box where you can find this hoist from Harbor Freight Tools. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.